Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey guys, welcome to another awesome chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here, and uh, we uh, have another guest in studio uh, that would be talking about TEDx Pittsburgh. But if you want to find out more about this and other things going on, of course, great stuff at SorgatronMedia.com. All kinds of geekery and the stuff that we're you know working with around Pittsburgh and 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 abroad with our our, our podcasts and our clients and everything like that. And of course, uh, you can follow this AwesomeCast.net. We'll have links for your iTunes, YouTube, wherever this show ends up we're still in that early planning stages but we're hoping to get it out there on your itunes stitcher speaker iHeartRadio, just like everything else is on the network and, and please check out all the rest of the geekery that we're doing um so let's get into it again at sorgatron on twitter uh, joining me right now is uh chris daly he's uh, at that chris daly on the twitter and he's also uh one of the co-organizers for tedx pittsburgh coming up here in a couple weeks um how you doing i'm doing great Thanks for having me, Michael. Awesome. So, so what what's your role currently uh, with TEDx Pittsburgh? Sure. So, my role with TEDx Pittsburgh is to be one of the organizers. Uh, mm-hmm. There's myself and Sarah Coffey, the other co-organizer, and we kind of carried the torch from TEDx Grandview Ave, on the Casey Worley started um, two years ago, and um, Ted, the big Ted, Ted himself, if you will, thought that Pittsburgh is a city that deserves to have uh, a city name as part of their their TEDx. So we were granted the license of TEDx Pittsburgh. And what I do with it is basically work on the programming, um, marketing, kind of thinking about what speakers are we going to have, what's our theme, how are we getting people in the seats, and just kind of working with our great team to make it an awesome experience for everyone who comes. Um, because we it's been getting better every year, and we want to take it to the next level again. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's let's roll it back for this. I, I feel like most people, uh, perhaps that listen to Awesome Cast, probably know what TED is in general. But for those that don't, what is TED itself? Sure. So TED, you're gonna if you don't know about TED, you, you're probably gonna love TED. So <laughs> TED.com is an address on the internet, and it's also huge on Netflix and YouTube, and it's a series of inspirational talks, um, and their theme is ideas worth spreading. Um, technology, entertainment, design, that, that whole realm. Um, and people, people who are famous, um, people who aren't famous have, have done TED Talks where they just give kind of six to 18 minutes of, of an idea they have that will give you a takeaway. And that's something you can either do in your community or something you can do in your personal life and just um, to try something new. And it's uh, supposed to be an environment where you can think differently about things and an environment where you can meet new people like that um, and just kind of leave maybe a little bit different than we were before. So that's what I think TED is. It's awesome. And TED's one of those things uh, for me as I'm listening to podcasts and everything, like I'm trying to figure out what I was doing next. Like it yeah. was a lot, I know I found a lot of inspiration, a lot of creative minds in there, um, but also like kind of diving into medical, uh, society, you know, behavioral. Uh, uh, we actually use it a lot with one of my clients. It's a more behavioral therapy aimed. And they actually use a lot of uh, presentation from there to to talk about like new thinking on, on, on psychiatry and, and health in general. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great point, Michael. Um, so you can find a TED Talk if you haven't already on anything, you can find one on filmmaking. You can find one. On, I saw a great one on lollipops, mm-hmm. if you will. Um, so <laughs> you, there, you might be surprised by the topic uh, of a TED Talk that catches you the most. And that's another great thing about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's one, uh, the great uh, Improv Everywhere, which now there's actually a documentary on on, on Netflix about it. Oh. But I, I've actually seen it played at two TEDx's. <laughs> I really? think I think Grandview Ave and the CMU one from a few years ago both played it. But it's worth it every time. Yeah. Uh, it, it's great stuff to see what they're doing. And it's more of a comedy and talking about play and humor and everything. Mm-hmm. Again, something that goes along with one, what one of my clients do, does. Um, but it, it, it's a really, really great mix of stuff and really, really, really inspirational. And, and, and it seems seems like this kind of stuff has um, really kind of gotten people's attention in, uh, in yeah. general. Like, uh, you know, I don't know how many times people are like, oh, did you see the TED Talk on, on this? You know, especially in creative yeah. medical professional fields like this, you know. So. Sure, that's a good point. You're right. People reference TED Talks almost 
you know, when you're out somewhere and trying to think of something, you look up something on Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. I feel like TED and TED Talks have become something. Oh, I wonder if there's a TED Talk on that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think mm-hmm. that's something that, you know, TEDx Pittsburgh. What we want to do is we want to be in that conversation, and where we think that some of the ideas happening in Pittsburgh, some of our speakers are definitely world class TED TED style speakers. So we're hoping that um, they'll be in that conversation. So uh, what? So you know, obviously you've been listening to TED for a little bit, We're watching TED, I guess. So however you want to do it, I, I've been listening to the TEDx Radio Hour, so I've been on the listening mode for it, which is a great, great NPR, you know, kind of show on it. And they really kind of dive into, uh, aside from what some of these talks talk about, and to kind of string some of them together, it's really nice. Um, what was your introduction to TED as a concept and uh, in general? Personally, um, TED as a concept first uh, appeared to me in in just an email, just like someone emails you uh, an article or a song that, that, you know, I heard the song, I thought of you, I thought it was great. Um, It was something like that. Um, I think it was probably my dad who sent me my first uh, TED Talk. And, you know, it's something that still happens. Uh, I don't know if this happens to you, but when, you know, if you have a new challenge in life or something you're trying to do, you know, friends send you TED Talks that are either emotional or you know, inspirational. There's the whole, the Lean In TED Talk is pretty famous. Um, so there are that that was my first experience. Just a very one to one. It wasn't like part of a big event. It wasn't in person. It wasn't like I met this amazing speaker. It was just um, someone important to me shared it with me. Awesome, awesome. And then what rolled you into uh, helping here with uh, well originally TEDx Grandview? Um, wanted to get involved uh, with TEDx Pittsburgh slash TEDx Grandview Avenue happened just from being around the event and seeing what they did the last two years and kind of the feeling that you get um, after you kind of hear that talk that gives you a a good idea. And even it gives you an idea enough that you want to think of something and just wanting to kind of help further that for more people um, and and kind of being inspired to have have an influence. So that's why I wanted to get involved. I think that if you have a good TEDx event, you should, a good symptom of that would be everyone there wanting to be involved somehow. And we, we have seen that. There's a lot of great volunteers awesome. and people wanting to help out. Awesome. So uh, th- this year, of course, uh, the theme is bridges. Yep. Of course. So what are we uh, kind of looking forward to uh, leading into uh, the, this year's version of the event? Okay. So our theme is bridges. Thank you for bringing it up. Um, and we did that for a couple of reasons. I don't know if you guys know, Pittsburgh has 446 bridges. It's a number that's been argued. I don't know if you have a different number, if you've done any research on this. I, I, I don't know. Is it is it is it, is a city limits, Allegheny County? This is my other question, yeah, too. I, don't know. I feel like I've been stuck on every one of them, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we know the bridges sometimes too well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we wanted something that immediately identifies with Pittsburgh, such as bridges. It's kind of one of our claims to fame. It's also kind of a metaphor of things. Bridges need love. They, they can't fall into disrepair. That things that connect us are important and they exist. Um, and we want it to be something that a speaker could could have room for interpretation. Um, I think that what we're looking for is speakers and topics that will make these connections between, there's you know a running joke in Pittsburgh neighborhoods. I live in the South Side. Um, people don't like to cross uh, the river. You know, I'll go anywhere unless it's across the river. Mm-hmm. Um, but but really, a lot of people in Pittsburgh are doing things that do connect us either on a tangible level like that through policy or transportation um, or, you know, on a more emotional level through through work in, like you were mentioning, health and behavioral health fields um, and also just through creativity. So those we think that Bridges is something that can bring it all together and give us a really well-rounded day of ideas awesome so uh as, as speakers are announced right i hadn't i hadn't taken a look at that but we, we have them all lined up oh yeah we've got 10 speakers and a great host katie o'malley is going to host the day if you've uh ever been to a penguins game have you ever been to a penguins game uh i, I once <laughs> it's you gotta go back it's yes. a great time yeah she's formerly of uh pens tv um but yeah our our mm. speakers are are really eclectic and mm. i think that um, if you have the list to share, yep. you should definitely share that with your following. Um, there's going to be. Should I just talk about a couple of my? Yeah, go my ahead. Favorites? Go like, who are you looking forward to? Who do you think people oh. should definitely look out for uh, coming up here? Okay, so 
I don't know how to choose. It's like choosing my favorite cereal. I can't. <laughs> They're all the best. They're all the best. So let's just have them all in one bowl. Um, so I think that one of one of uh, our heavy hitters is Dr. Jim Withers. Um, and Dr. Jim Withers has gotten some notoriety for his concept of street medicine. And um, I don't want to give too much away, but he... You, you can read about it kind of on our on our website, tedxpittsburgh.org, mm-hmm. for those of you on the internet. Um, but he's going to talk about what what motivated him and what gave him the idea to give medical care to homeless individuals. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, um, there's just a lot of layers to that story and a lot of layers to that idea. And even if you know you're not a medical professional, there are things that we can all take away from it and perhaps think differently about our community. Mm-hmm. And I know generally, um, I, I don't think generally uh, it's usually known exactly what they're going to talk about uh, going into it. I think maybe the program maybe has a list or something, but uh, it's just a great group of people uh, usually yeah. and, and a good mix. I was always, I was really impressed last year with uh, Grandview Ave. Was, uh, uh, there was the first Grandview Ave that yeah. I, I, I was able to come to. Um, and uh, it was a good mix all across the board. Sure. Uh, you're interested in everything throughout the day, you know, um, at least for me in my mix of interest, yeah. which is pretty broad. So because <laughs> um, I know, you know, you know, some people can be lost on like maybe a medical one or something yeah. like that. Um, but it's a really interesting, uh, a really good kind of uh, 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 even field on that. So good point. Well, we do have a, a good variety again this year. We have an astronomer. Mm-hmm. Uh, like you said, awesome. we, we have a doctor. We have a facial expression expert. Uh, nice. We have... Uh, a high school student, we have, um, you know, education professionals. It's a really good eclectic mix, which I think well represents uh, the city of Pittsburgh itself mm-hmm. um, to the best of our ability. And I think that um, you're going to you're gonna make connections in a lot of different genres of thought. Awesome. Do you have a favorite TED video? I do have a couple of favorite TED videos. Um, one is actually a TEDx. Okay. Um, and there's a actually there's a slam poet I really like named Buddy Buddy Wakefield, and my good friend Derek showed me his TEDx video. I did not know existed, but it's become my new favorite TEDx video. Um, and Buddy Wakefield, if you've never seen him before, is just he's a world champion slam poet. So he's al- it's already not fair to other TED speakers because <laughs> that's his life. Um, but he does this great kind of 19 minute slam poem about um, passion versus fulfillment and verse um, and community and just there's a lot of layers to it um, and it's just one of those things that at, at the end of of watching it you just feel different in a good way awesome and this thing is a little bit of uh, art a little bit of everything here and I think I yeah. just found the video uh, this is a uh, TEDx uh, USU uh, Utah State University, and that's really cool. Is, is that you know TED itself is a pretty big deal event. I think it's like a thousand dollar ticket, something crazy like that. It's pretty much invite only, right? And um, and and that you have an opportunity to hear Utah State and however they do it, or here in Pittsburgh, CMU CMU's done, CMU excuse me has done one in the past, and of course this version uh, as well. You know, there's a lot of opportunity there to to, to check this out and be a part of this. I think it's really interesting to to also you know meet the people that would come to something like this and get a lot of uh, really really cool ideas yeah you're absolutely right the people who are at tedx um, are also really cool to talk to and you'll meet people who may you you're going to find commonalities with them and they may already be your neighbor or they may live close to you and you can make these connections of mm-hmm. someone you could um you know vibe with on an intellectual or a creative level and um you never know you might be on our team next year I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. You look at me? Yeah. <laughs> you look, no, I got, I'm more, I already no got, pressure, but we need, I already got pod camp. We need, right? we need a podcast. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. I already got it. And actually, you know, for, for a lot of things, and, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about PodCamp 10. Yeah. And uh, we're taking them, uh, we're hoping to take a little bit of cues and, and kind of 
have more on the video side because that's what i've been for me it's been like okay how can we get how do we capture two days of all these speakers for us and right. and uh, i'm hoping we kind of stream down and maybe have some main stuff because we have a nice theater there at point park university right yeah uh that that main room there is is just tremendous and i and i feel like we can utilize it a little bit better um but but i love that idea uh, because everything for whatever it is to attend one of these events whether it's the main ted that's crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> or or one of these x events or or you know for whatever they may be um you know uh, everything's online everything is sure. i believe at least creative commons right yeah so, yeah it's all i mean if you go to ted.com you can literally download any talk you it's want about any any yeah. event that has happened ted <laughs> what's that yeah. you can download low res for free i think you can request a high res dvd oh really but yeah but you can download even from ted the big the big ted so mm -hmm. it's all the whole point that their tagline is ideas worth spreading so right. the only way you can't lock it up if you want to spread it so um yeah you're right that's absolutely kind of one of the pillars of the ted and tedx brand is we'll we'll produce this event for you we'll uh, have these great speakers and then it's up to you to kind of carry it and share it mm -hmm. who um i mean just generally you know I, I think that this is really cool that we have tedx you know the reason i do these podcasts is, as far as the awesome cast side is you know we, we we're talking with people uh companies and other people just doing cool things in pittsburgh and, and we love the innovation and everything yeah. and this comes up a lot with TEDx. I think it's, it's really good to get that out there. Um, uh, who do you think is really kind of uh, really killing it these days, really kind of uh, 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 representing Pittsburgh, I guess, in, in technology, social media, uh, uh, innovation in general? Like anybody that you've been following? Like uh, a company or individual? Uh, but whichever, whichever. Because I, I notice you're um, you're a digital guy and punk singer, as I'm learning from your Twitter account. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I sing a punk song here and there. Here and there. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, a little okay. more, a little more than rock band, right? A little more, yeah, <laughs> slightly more than rock band. That's that's the only guarantee I'll give you. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll bring you an album. So, yeah, there are the city is full and getting more full. I think of people who are just creating a lot of great stuff in the digital space, like you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I think one go to I always think of is uh, the great people at Deep Local are always doing amazing things um, with kind of just things that you don't hear about happening, you know, combining the digital world with the physical world for for big worldwide brands right here in Pittsburgh is is pretty awesome to see. Um, there are there are a lot of cool apps that were started here. Mm -hmm. um, Duolingo is one I'm trying to trying to learn a, a language or two, you know. Um, so I think that's a really cool a cool thing. Um, there are just there's really a, a lot. In the city, um, I think more more than maybe other cities our size, mm -hmm. um, and, I, and you are seeing Pittsburgh start to appear on lists of of tech um, and kind of digital media. People are really, I, I feel like if you're into that art form or that form of work, that you're in, in a good place in Pittsburgh. Exactly. I have a, I, I I play with because I don't know what to say that when people are like, oh, what do you do? Why, why are you here at like an Alpha Lab open coffee or something? I'm just yeah. like, I, I, I play around with what I say because I, I never I never know what's going to hit. I really don't know how to define what I do in general. Yeah. So I are like, what well, brings you to Alpha Lab? I'm like, well, I'm kind of a technology enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's a great place to be that. And you have a, a, a chance to kind of touch base with these people, you know, yeah. I mean, especially these days, startups, like somebody like Duolingo doing these apps and stuff. Um, there's kind of that startup rock star-ness kind of going yeah. on. <laughs> so, uh, but it's a, it, it's really cool to be able to go to these kinds of things and, and talk with these people and and uh, maybe see some of these guys before they were stars like sure like, like um like no weight you know is, right oh is yeah doing no insane wait, yeah. right now and he's mm -hmm. been down here and he's been down there in the, in, yeah. in the studio like on episode 15 of, of awesome cast <laughs> you know and it's really cool to be to see that kind of thing happening around here you should do where are they now we you know that's you know? that's i think that's kind of what this show is going to become because yeah. i'm hoping to bring some of those people back and be like yeah. and see if they can come back this like i've got time life. for you anymore <laughs> That'd be cool. So, yeah. I mean, it's really cool because, you know, I do a lot of wrestling podcasts and it feels like, you know, we we can follow those people up just like we follow our local independent professional wrestler and now he's on WWE, you know. Yeah. Like, like, like it's cool to, like, root for those guys, I yeah, guess. Yeah, of course, yeah. Is it, you got to root for the... The home team. The, the home team. <laughs> root for the home team. Root for the DIY. Um, and I think that, 
you know, there's plenty of examples, homegrown examples, like we just mentioned, that even if you're part of a big company or you're on your own, or you just want to create something that you want to create for you and have someone read it, um, there's plenty of examples out there in your probably your own neighborhood that you can look to and say, you know what, I can do this too. What do you attribute to that community aspect? Because I, I, again, the creative, the the people yeah. we're seeing on PodCamp doing social media, the people we're seeing making event or making not yeah. events, but the technology. What what is it? Uh, is it because we're scrappy Pittsburgh, or or yeah. what do you think that is? I don't know. Um, I'm not an, an expert in startups by any means, but mm-hmm. any means, but I kind of think that um, in general, people in Pittsburgh are nice, and that. You know, when you and when people are creative, um, and if you're just starting out, you kind of need like a little bit of a pull, a little bit of positive reinforcement. And I think that it's kind of a, uh, an atmosphere where you get that good sounding board. In addition to people who are good examples, they're probably not going to turn you down for a cup of coffee, mm-hmm. or you know, not respond to a tweet if you send them a question. So I think that kind of the Pittsburgh atmosphere and like like you you kind of brought it up the the Pittsburgh uh, kind of hardworking vibe also plays into that um and maybe the fact that winter is freaking terrible and that you have to stay inside <laughs> and we make more things yeah. when that happens right things. yeah exactly um i also see you, oh, you guys move locations again you're at the by him theater the by him theater which yeah. is that's that's a serious venue right there the by him theater is a big deal yeah it was uh what the was it the new hazlitt theater new hazlitt last, last year, year also yeah. a big deal yeah, yeah. great great there's so many great historical theaters in the city, and uh, we have to. TEDx Pittsburgh really owes a lot to the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust, mm-hmm. who, uh, as a sponsor, provided the buy-in to us, um, and they're really working closely with us to make sure that's a great experience for everyone who comes. Uh, speaking of which, if you guys didn't buy a ticket yet for TEDx Pittsburgh, go to tedxpittsburgh.org and snatch them up because there's a limited number of seats. Really, and you got it. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Did you buy your ticket yet? I have not yet. Uh, so. <laughs> Lead by example, Michael. I, I have to. Yes, certainly. Yeah, um, certainly. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, they're they're up there right now. They're uh, I think around forty dollars if you want to attend. Yep. Um, definitely worthwhile if you want to check it out. Um, and uh, just be a part of it. Again, uh, yeah. kind of rubbing elbows with with some some great minds and yeah. uh, and 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 find out what people are about. And uh, and for those that don't, because if you're catching this later, because this is actually we'll post about a week from now, so yeah. I don't know if there's going to be any tickets left. Uh, but you guys, uh, the videos will be up, of course, on TED. Yeah, uh, as usual. Is there going to be streaming this year? Yeah, we're going to be live streaming it. So if you follow uh, at that or at that was almost mine at TEDx Pittsburgh uh, on Twitter, you will see the live stream. We'll have it uh, also kind of linked from our website, TEDxPittsburgh.org. So we'll have a live stream recap on our site and YouTube, and uh, obviously you can buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. Um, But the buy in Theater, back to your original question, is just uh, a really beautiful venue. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's kind of sitting right off of a bridge, also one of the sister bridges. So you're going to, it's going to kind of be in the background there. And um, it's, you know, built in 1903, really historic place, and just there's not a a better environment that that we could want for the first reintroduction of I tennis. This, is this where this is where the ballet usually is, right? I, I remember seeing Nutcracker there several, like when I was in yeah, high I mean, school. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, like this is a this is a classic. This is venue. a legit theater, yeah. yeah, for sure. And our speakers are trained in certain. Um, stage moves so you're gonna you, who knows what's gonna happen it's gonna be great we've done a lot actually well that's not true but we have done speaker training sessions mm-hmm. um, so they're all they're already great but they're gonna be good we had uh, Leia Leonardo um, she was a speaker last year from mm-hmm. the Brazen Kitchen uh, my one of my favorite people uh, Chris uh, number two from Anti-Flag was a coach nice um, yeah we had Cynthia from Shift Collaborative um, Sarah from our team, Bridget uh, from our team, also my wife was there coaching. So mm-hmm. they had a lot of that's uh, Cynthia Klosky, the yeah, yeah, she she actually a uh, regular contributor to to Awesome Cast as yeah. well, and just generally all around awesome person. Oh, great! So yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, so they. They've really been putting on a lot of time and effort. And it's cool that to see uh, to see that there's a process to that because I always wonder is like just like hey you got 15 minutes here's the rules we'll see you yeah. there you know good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so but but it's always like I've never seen I, I think the two TEDx's that I've I've attended I think I've seen one kind of awkward ish you know uh, yeah. presentation but the, the everything everybody usually kills it up there and I, I don't know if it's the the, the 
the, the, the tight restrictions on time, you know, the, yeah. the process. Um, everything's just together or, or, or what, but it's been pretty nice. Glad you think so. so. And we'll keep that going, I hope. Awesome. Awesome. Anything else you want to tell us about TEDx Pittsburgh coming to, oh, is there an after party? Anything else going on? Because I know last year they did mm -hmm. the aviary and that was tremendous. Oh, glad you liked it. Yeah, the after party is just about to be announced. Mm -hmm. um, so we're kind of, you know, rolling announcements here. So that's why all the more reason to uh, keep up with our Facebook and Twitter pages for TEDx Pittsburgh. Um, so we definitely want to see you at the Bayern Theater. We want to see you uh, at the after party. We want to hear your thoughts uh, on Twitter using the hashtag hashtag TEDxPGH. Mm -hmm. We want to to just get your thoughts and get involved and the more the better. So we'll see you there. Awesome. Go check it out. Hopefully we can see, have some awesome casters uh, down joining uh, and, and checking it out and, and schmoozing and rubbing elbows and, 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 yeah, and whatnot. You know, I actually yeah. just reconnect with somebody I, I, I met at TEDx last year. And really? It, was, it was really cool. Nice. Um, the great guys at uh, Up, to, Up To were actually there uh, with the oh, sponsor booth and they just sure. did some stuff uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, really great. And I've talked about an awesome cast. We'll hopefully talk about a little bit more an awesome cast uh, coming up in the coming weeks as well. So, um, so go check it out. TEDx Pittsburgh. Org. Where can people follow you? If you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at that Chris Daly, D A L E Y, um, and also same on Instagram that Chris Daly. So, hope to see you and um, share some photos and whatnot. We'll Got have it. a great time. Hit him up with all of your questions about TEDx. <laughs> <laughs> Easy ones. Easy ones. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Thanks a lot. Go check it out and uh, check out everything going on. Like I said, awesomecast.net. If you enjoyed this interview or check out our other interview we did with you, Jagoff, uh, John Chamberlain. Yes, that's that's who you get to follow. Yeah, <laughs> following. That's a tough act to follow. And uh, we got some uh, uh, fun stuff uh, we're planning here in the coming weeks for this and so many more things at sorgatronmedia.com. I'm at Sorgatron, and we'll see you guys next time. show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.